God has always been a part of my life, but despite being in church every week since childhood, I've struggled with my identity, purity, anxiety, and anger, among other sinful patterns. My teenage years have been filled with ups and downs. I clearly understood the gospel at a youth event. I knew that I wanted to be saved, and I accepted Jesus as my savior. Our youth pastor at the time, Larry Lawrence, encouraged me to follow Jesus in baptism, but I hesitated because I was ashamed of my sins, and ultimately, I liked my sin. As a result, I remained lukewarm, and my struggles continued. In high school, I struggled with my racial identity. I blamed God for making me different, but now I recognize that my struggle was a product of how much time I spent on social media, and that I didn't have a foundation in God's word to know that my true identity is found in Him. I tried to run away from God, but He kept pursuing me. On September 30th, 2022, after watching a sermon about God being my safe place, I asked God to change me and I committed my life to Him. However, I still ran from baptism because I didn't want to be vulnerable about my struggles or be judged for my sins. I just wanted to deal with my sins in private. Recently, God showed me that the devil wants me to hide my sins so that I can remain in them. God's word says in 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. God wants me to be free and to hide my sin is to keep my sin. So I confess that I am a sinner and give my life to Jesus as Savior and Lord. My name is Gabriella Bonomi and I am ready to be baptized as a redeemed believer in Jesus Christ. I'm no longer bound to my sin, my emotions, my worldly identity, or anything else. Today, I am free in Christ. Good morning, church. As we just sang, good Christian men rejoice. We're gonna rejoice in redeemed life. We've got before us Gabriella. She goes by Gabby. This is Gabby Bonomi. And she's got a lot of people here who will support her. If you're one of those that would support Gabby in this decision to walk with Jesus, would you stand in her honor? And I want you to look out there and see. A lot of people that love you. And as we just talk backstage, just as a reminder, we just discussed, baptism does not save you. Jesus saves you. And today, you're just telling us what Jesus has done. Is that correct? And so, Gabby, with your brother here and others watching, let me just ask you these questions. Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that he loves you, that he died on the cross to save you of your sins, that he was buried and raised to walk, and today he's alive? Do you believe these things? Yes, sir. And Gabby, have you personally... Ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins, not just the sins of the world, but the sins of Gabby. Have you asked him to come into your life? And today, are you willing to tell us you're going to walk with him all the days of your life? Yes, sir. Amen. Then we're going to rejoice and celebrate with you. We're going to baptize you. It's a statement that you are his and he is yours. And so, Gabby, with the authority of Jesus, we baptize you today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We're buried with him in baptism and raised to walk in newness of life.